Kanda TV. It's sad in my heart. Each time I see posts or I get information from Lukuja, uh, a boy has been killed in Angongura, one in Sarkin Power, one in Kapawa, and so on and so forth. Or a house is being burnt here and there as a reprisal attack to the death of maybe somebody from that area. This does not show and does not depict who we are in Lokuja. The next question we ask ourselves, where are these coming from? Long before now, I know the moment a stranger comes into town, it is the responsibility of the world head of me and to ask, who is this person? Call him for me. Who do you come to look for? Call the person. Who is this person? What does he come to do? He said, he's going to come and see you. Anyway, we don't need much. I am going to segment my discussion into four segments, but very briefly. Like I said, safety and security of any nation is in the hands of its citizens. It means government at all levels are supposed to take responsibility. Who are the government? Who drive the systems? They are human beings, they are not ghosts. If you see you are head of state today, you are not a ghost, you are a human being. It means laws and legislation are supposed to be put in place. Not only that, it means it must be delegated to enable its efficacy and effectiveness. That's number one. Number two, coming back to us as human beings and looking at the good as well. Yes, crime is everywhere. And if I can if I can remember my statistics. Let me use United Nations, I mean United States as an example, because that is our cardinal point all over the world. About 23% of the youths in the age of 15 to 21, 23% die annually because of what drug addiction. 25% of youths in the Neighborhood of 21 to 25 percent die in motor accidents annually. And I think 18 percent die through one group, gang, cultism, and the other. And averagely, about 37 percent of American youths in the age of 22 to 30 possess gone because they are law over there give them the moment you are 18 you are attached to arm yourself but it is not here and it cannot be here in nigeria so what are we looking at now there's a sensitive question he came up with how do we need this on board that is why we are all here. And that's my second stage of my discussion. Yes. Now, there are several ways we can do that. One, education and enlightenment. Two, engaging the traditional world's title holders. Three, engaging the emir of the town. Four, we the youth should take up the responsibilities by campaigning this among ourselves. I will break it down. Then five, what do we do individually and collectively to ensure we have a safer society that is free of crime? Our traditional title holders, first and foremost. We meet in locations, we pray in the mosque and the rest of them. We can we have mosques virtually at every street and corner in Lokoja here. Sometimes an identified 
person in that world can be handled, can be assigned to handle the responsibility of maybe giving a three to five minutes enlightenment through the speaker, the public uh, speaker in that society. Uh, we have as we have notified, we have been given a notice that such a thing handled this place. My elders, our parents in this area, please call the attention of your children one way or the other. You might think it's not important, it's a message, it goes down. Sometimes the leadership of such organizations as ours, Danko, Lokoja Force, just name them. Leadership needs to come together, irrespective of which of the association you belong to. Life does not know whether you are white or you are black. Life is life. We need to come up, hold a meeting, and take this back home to our respective members, to our parents. And such groups, from time to time, need to interface with the security agents. We do not necessarily need to wait until such a time that an incident or an accident happens that affects lives and properties in Lokoja. Then, thirdly, like I said, the religious leaders too, these messages need to be passed on to them so that when they go to their respective mosques and worship places, they need to pass information. That is the, what, what we're talking about, the uh, education and public enlightenment. I mean, uh, enlightenment. Like in, in, where in my own profession, where we're coming from, we have the three E's. Education, enlightenment, and enforcement. The enforcement comes on the part of the security agents. And until we all come together, and get this identified and provide a way forward or a solution. And equally see how we can effectively carry out this. We have not started yet. Our kids are growing up. Some people are here to get married and their, their future plan is for them to get married tomorrow and equally have offsprings. So we need to be guided. Kakanda TV.